Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on the planet, and welcome to another day in the Bitcoin and Cryptoverse. So today we have a new moon in Scorpio coming up. I'm going to give you the Bitcoin astrology on this, but expect the unexpected. I'm going to go into some more details on this. Uh, Bitcoin is hanging out right here at 37,000. We almost got to 38,000, but let's take a look at the deeper astrology here. Check this out. We've got some cool music here as well. So we have the Earth right here and the Moon. You can see on this new Moon, we have the Moon that is directly conjunct the Sun, as you can see here. And we also have Mars, which is almost exactly behind the Sun here. And if we turn around here, this is pretty intense energy, especially with the Mars. Let's scoot back. See, there's Mars and there's Earth. And the moon is in between the sun and the Earth. Um, but what's really going to shake things up is we have, you see we have the sun, the Earth, and then we have Uranus right back here. So uh, this new moon is exactly opposite Uranus and Uranus is the planet that likes to shake things up. So expect the unexpected. Um, the good news is we have some positive aspects to the Bitcoin chart. Let's take a look at the more official astrology chart here. We have the sun and the moon are conjunct. And uh, just like you just saw there, Mars uh, was almost opposite exactly the, the, the sun, but um, almost conjunct. And then we have the Uranus here, which is almost exactly uh, opposite the sun and the moon. So this is a lot of volatile energy. Um, in your own personal life, this is a time where you may feel the need to uh, break some patterns, do the unpredictable, uh, break free, and potentially detach from certain things in your life that are no longer important to Kind of let go of the fat, let you know, cut out the fat of things that you don't need in your life. Um, additionally, this is unfortunately not a good new moon for Jerusalem, um, so I wouldn't expect any improvements on that front. Unfortunately, um, this is a time to learn to let go and break free from things that are not working for you in your life. Um, you can either choose to do that consciously or you may be forced to let go of certain things that are not serving you anymore. It's better to do it consciously, um, but we'll see what happens. This is not a tr time to try and fill a void within yourself. Um, it's not a time to try to get a quick fix. Uh, so uh, I, I guess in terms of crypto, this is not a time to I don't know, go all in or something like that. Um, so, uh, you know, be aware of that. This is a time where there's gonna be more secrets revealed in your own life and on the world stage because we have the sun and moon in Scorpio. Mars has been in Scorpio for a while now. Mars rules Scorpio. So uh, yeah, there's more truths coming out maybe that we didn't even want to see more truths in our own lives or in maybe even in our relationships, uh, more truths in the human collective uh, on the world stage that could be coming out. Uh, there could be unexpected events that are coming out of left field. Now, in terms of the Bitcoin astrology, we have the Bitcoin chart in the middle here. And um, we can look at the the next yeah let's look closer here we do have some positive astrology this month we have the uranus trine the bitcoin saturn we have the saturn sextile the bitcoin pluto those are positive aspects and as we head into the new moon around the 13th and 14th we do have this uh, mars sextile the bitcoin saturn there is venus opposite the bitcoin moon it's a little negative we do have the Mars square, the Bitcoin Neptune, that's negative. 
and we have Venus squaring the Bitcoin Mars. So we do have some negative energy here. It's definitely a mixed bag. We could see a pump up to this new moon and then a dump. And I'm not sure how low the dump would go. It might not go very low. Could go to 36,000, maybe 35,000. Uh, if we go even anywhere below, if we go down to 33,000, that's a great buying opportunity. I don't have a crystal ball on how low we're gonna go um, because there is also a chance we have some positive astrology right after the new moon. There's a chance that we could have a little dump and then we just kind of consolidate and then we start picking back up. Now, from now until the new moon, uh, Bitcoin's at 37,000. We could hit 38,000. I do have a bit of a sell order there, 38,000. I think it could be a decent place to take some profits, just a little bit, just to uh, enjoy the fruits of the crypto labor. Now let's look at the charts. So yeah, I mean, Bitcoin is holding up so super strong here. You know, it's not seeing any weakness so far, um, but usually around the new moon, Bitcoin pumps into the new moon and then dumps. So, and what's really interesting is that on the weekly chart, the next weekly candle is gonna be the day of the new moon. So that's really significant. So we could hold this strong weekly candle for this week and then end the week on the 13th and we could see a dump on the 13th. Um, so that'd be very interesting. Let's take a look. Um, Bitcoin is holding up super strong we could hit up, head up to the 702 Fibonacci number here around 38,500. That would be bullish. Um, but usually there's a lot of resistance in that area. So we could head back down to like 35 or something like that. Um, this will be interesting. Uh, this is also this kind of basic line that I was kind of basically thinking this is based on the astrology for the next few months where it's really bullish in December, January. And perhaps if things get a little bearish, I mean, I think a healthy correction would be very healthy for this market. We could see, a lot of times we see kind of Bitcoin consolidate around the Bitcoin halving. So we could head down a bit and uh, maybe, maybe consolidate through the summer of next year and then head back up looking, looking super bullish towards the end of next year. So that's just something I was look, um, playing around with there. And the Bitcoin dominance is holding up quite strong. We're seeing a bit of a correction here. We could consolidate in this area here, around 52, 51. And uh, the altcoins, let's look at the total three altcoin market, staying strong here. We did push up above the April highs here. That's bullish. Um, but let's see what the next weekly candle close does. Are we gonna close above the April highs or are we gonna fall back down? We do have the 200 day moving average here um, that we would need to hold above. It looks like if things stay bullish, we're gonna hold above that, which is really positive. And the total market cap, we are holding strong above 1.3 trillion. We're all the way up at 1.37. Incredible. The Dow Jones is heading up here with a lot more steam ahead. And um, we could definitely see some resistance around the 34,462 on the Dow Jones. Um, that's around the 702 Fibonacci. And um, yeah, it could be until December that we head above that where things get a lot more bullish. Let's see if there's anything else I wanna share with you today. Do, do, do. Yeah, um, so I mean, things are looking pretty good. This could, we could see a cons consolidation with Bitcoin on this new moon or after this new moon, especially. 
Um, but I'm excited to see us get up to 38,000 and maybe even a little bit beyond 38,000. What are your thoughts? Where, where are you thinking Bitcoin's gonna consolidate to? Are we heading up? Are we gonna experience a correction? Are you, are you rooting for a correction down to 32,000? What are you thinking? You think we could go ever below 30,000 again? Let me know in the comments below. Let's take a look at the fear and greed index. We're at, whoops, hey oh, we're at 70. I'm actually waiting till we get around 78 because around the 2019 uh, bear market rally, we um, we went up to about 76, 78 um, on the crypto fear and greed index, and that was a pretty good sell order. Um, for the market as then after that we corrected back down. Uh, but definitely not financial advice, that's just what I'm thinking. Um, you know, it's kind of fun to pay some bills with crypto when things are looking really good, things are bullish. All right, so definitely stay tuned for more videos like this where I look at the Bitcoin astrology. And I mean, this is fun. For anyone who's enthusiastic about astrology, we're combining crypto and astrology. This is next level. This is the future that we're heading into. This is amazing. And um, so far I've been, have, I've had 90% accuracy with my Bitcoin astrology predictions. If you don't believe that, check out my previous videos where I go through all my predictions for this year and I prove that 90% accuracy. Pretty awesome. All right, so if you're new here, definitely subscribe and be coming out with more videos on Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Tesla. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be super exciting end of the year here. Things are looking really good. Thanks again for watching. Definitely like this video and I will see you on the next one.